In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up to sell a digital product like an ebook through your Squarespace online shop. I'm going to show you how to upload the product to your shop, and I'll also show you the process that a customer goes through to purchase and the emails that they receive. So you can see the whole process in entirety. I get asked this question a lot. So let's dive in and have a look. I'm using an example on my website. This is my website creation companion ebook. I've created a sales page on my website. You don't need to have a sales page you could just sell it directly from your shop but in this example we're using the sales page so I've got all the content and everything in it and then down the bottom someone can click on here to grab their copy of the website creation companion once they do that then they can go to the shopping cart in my website the shopping cart appears down the bottom here but yours may appear up the top or elsewhere depending on how your site is configured so then they can go to the checkout page and they can go ahead and pay for and purchase this product. So I'm gonna show you first how to set this up in the back end. Then we'll actually go through the checkout process as though I'm a customer. So you can see the emails um, and what your customer will actually see on the other side. So what you'll need first to make sure that you have when you set this up is a couple of things, um, some images for your product if you're um, to, to promote your product. So I've got this one here. You'll need any copy about your product so that describes what your product is and who it's for. And then you'll also need the actual digital product itself. So um, the ebook that you're going to, uh, that the client's going to receive when they, um, after they've purchased, which is, I've got mine here in this PDF format. Okay, so then from the back end of, the, of your site, you'll need to go over and open up your shop. Now, I'm assuming you've already got a shop set up on your site. It's all configured with all of the payment processes, emails are all set up, all of that kind of stuff. If you don't have this set up, I'll leave a link to a Squarespace tutorial which explains how to do that in more detail. Or if you need some help setting that up, then please reach out. I can uh, assist you with that as well. All right, so you've got your shop set up, all your emails and payment processes are configured. Let's go in now and add in the actual product. So I'm gonna click a little plus sign here, and then I'm gonna come down and select Dig digital. Now we're going to go through and add some content about the product. So um, I'm going to call this new. And I'm just calling this new because I've already got this in my shop set up. So just so that we can differentiate between the two, you can add a short little description about the product here. I'll just go over to my shop so you can see what this looks like and where these things go. So the description will appear here on the side like that. And we've also got some images as well, which we can upload. So I'm gonna add this image here. I'm also gonna add it as a thumbnail. I'm just gonna add some dummy data here for the description. Now your thumbnail is what appears here in the shop view when someone's browsing your shop. Now, of course, if you're using a sales page, you've got a sales page set up, you really don't have to put too much information in here. Um, but if you are gonna sell, it, sell your product directly through your shop, then you'll probably need to put some content and thumbnail images. Now your file, this is the digital file that someone will download after they've purchased. So that's your ebook or other product that you're selling. So that's mine here, I'm gonna drop that into there. Um, you know, this could be an ebook or it could be a meditation. There are file size limits. Uh, so I may do a separate video on um, meditations or if you're selling a product that's not just one PDF, but it's a package of things, that process is slightly different. So I may do a video on that, that one later. But in this case, if you've just got the one PDF, this is what you would do. So that's uploading there. So while that's uploading, I'm gonna add in the price, which in this case is $30. Actually, I'm just gonna make it a dollar because I'm gonna show you the process um, for it. You could put it on sale if you wanted to, add categories and things. Um, make sure that you put a nice little you know, URL here. Also, if you're doing SEO stuff with your site, you may wanna add SEO title and description. Uh, and then the other thing which I like to do is come down here to custom button and I like to change the label to grab your copy. Click 
here to grab your copy. That just means that the button on my the button on my sales page is going to say this instead of add to cart, which is kind of boring. So that's pretty much it. I've added all in most of the content that I need to. So I'm going to save and publish that product. Now, what I want to do is add this as a button to my sales page so that people can purchase this product directly directly through my sales page. I've already got one here, but we'll remove this and I'll show you how I've done that. So I'm gonna go over to my sales page now. I'm gonna edit the page. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'll delete this one, just for example. And so then I'm gonna add a new element to the page and I'm going to add a product element and then I'm going to search for my product. So I'll type in website creation companion and there's the two. That's the one, the existing one, but this is the new one that I've created for this example. Now that doesn't look very nice at all. So I'm going to go across to design. I'm going to change a few things. I'm going to remove the image like that. It's still not looking great. So I'm going to get rid of the title, but I'm going to add the add to cart button, which you can see has got that nice little custom wording there. Now, so don't like this needs to be sort of centered. So I'll center that there like that. So now it's just there added to the page like that. So I'm going to save that. Now it's ready for people to go ahead and buy. So now I'm going to take you through the process that, um, the customer will go through so you can see the different emails that they get. Okay, let's now assume I'm a customer. I've come to the sales page for this particular digital product. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click to grab my copy. Then I'm going to go across to the shopping cart and now I can click to check out and it's going to ask me for my details and payment details. So I'm just going to pause the video here because I don't want my personal details on the video. I'm going to go through the checkout process and then we'll come back and I'll show you the, the what happens after someone makes the actual purchase. Okay, so I've processed the payment. So what will happen is after they've processed the payment, they'll be taken to a screen like this, which gives them the details of what they've purchased. They can also download their the digital product directly from here. Although I find this screen's not that user-friendly and most people just ignore it. However, let's go across to my emails so you can see um, the, the emails that have come through. So um, just ignore this one. This is a PayPal receipt. So they may receive PayPal receipt if they pay through PayPal or it depends what processing system, payment processing system you've got set up. But the two that they will definitely receive is one, a thank you for their order and then two, the email to download. So this is the first one that comes through and these can be customized slightly and you can do all of that when you set up your shop. Uh, so that's for a different video or of course, you know, reach out if you need help with that. But it says here, thanks for your order and a unique link to download your digital product will be emailed to you shortly. And so that's where they get this one, which is that their product is now available. So they can download here and they just simply click on this link to download the digital file. And it's as easy as that. You've got your product set up online. People can buy it through your sales page or through your online shop uh, and you're good, good to go. As I said, if you need help setting up a shop, you can uh, reach out to me at alanajadestudio.com. I offer this as a service and can absolutely help you with configuring all of your shop settings and uploading your shop products if you need it. <laughs>